Hey guys, welcome back. Doing another waist to style video. I haven't done one of these in a while and although we are in quarantine, I just had to share these pants with you guys because trust me, when we're out, these are the only pants you're gonna need and want to wear for the spring and summer. So these pants are a white wide leg denim culotte. I got them last year at H&M, but I will definitely make sure to try to link as many similar pairs as possible in the description box. They're so versatile and chic and really, like I said, just everything you need this spring and summer. Let's get into this first outfit and let me show you just how bad you're gonna need these pants for the first look I went with a little bit of a warmer outfit more on the early spring end of the spectrum and even probably on the fall end of the spectrum and I will probably be wearing this outfit again in the fall so for this outfit I paired the pants with this sweater which is actually a sweater dress from Aritzia I just tucked it in and wore it as um, a sweater and then I paired it with my Doc Martens just to add a little bit of a contrast a little bit of edge to this look and then for a bag I went with my crossbody micro like mini bag from Nasty Gal I really like how the color matches super well with the pants and then to finish off the look I went with um, my camel coat from Zara I wanted to keep this look a little bit like monochromatic work with the browns so I went with that one and then for accessories I went with my cat eye sunglasses from Zara I love these glasses I just feel like they add an extra something to an outfit and I also really like wearing those with an outfit that's like a lot of browns and blacks um, because it's like a tortoiseshell pattern I just think it really works for the second look you guys know i love an all-white look so i went with a white sweater this time and this outfit is pretty similar to the first one. I think it's just a little bit more elevated and maybe a little bit more chic because of the heeled boot. Um, those heeled boots are from Le Chateau. And then I kept the same bag, same coat, same sunglasses. So very similar look, like I said. I just think it just has a little bit of a different vibe. And if you're not into just browns on browns on browns, um, I'm showing you white on white on white. <laughs> For look number three, I paired the pants with this button-down shirt. It's in a very like weird color. Like it's not exactly brown. Like I don't know. It's a little bit of a weird color, but I like it. I think it works really well with the off-white color of the pants. And then for shoes, I went with my Steve Madden like Gucci inspired loafers. And the fur bag, I went with this black tote bag. This look to me, it's very like going to school, going to the library to study. So of course I had my coffee in hand to amplify the going to school to study look. And in case you're wondering what that drink is, it's my current go-to at Starbucks right now. It's the iced cloud caramel mar macchiato. And then of course for the sunglasses, I kept the same pair. I just really find that that pair works with the colors that I've been working with so far. So outfit number four, another kind of all white look. This time I went with a graphic t-shirt. I especially like this t-shirt because it's white. It works well with the off-white color of the pants, but then it has that off-white um, graphic in the center. I think it just makes for a really nice pairing. And then for the shoes, I just went with my Stan Smiths and then this black bag. So if you wanted to keep the whole outfit neutral and didn't want that black accent, um, just wanted to show you guys this look with that same micro bag just because the color works better with everything else. It keeps everything monochrome. And then here I'm just showing you the look with that camel coat. I ideally wanted a cardigan. I think that would look really nice. I don't have one, definitely on my to buy list. So, so I thought I'd throw on the coat just to give you the visual.
So outfit number five is a look that I wore so often last summer and I know I'll be repeating like crazy again this summer. I just love this look. It has a very chic, effortless vibe. And this look, it was really just me showing how much of a Zara fangirl I am because every other piece besides the pants is from Zara. The black tank I really like because it's super simple, super airy, um, perfect for a hot summer day. And I really like the very subtle details on it. The bag as well is from Zara. It's definitely one of my favorites. I think it's just the perfect combination of just like chic summer vibes and then the sandals as well are from Zara those sandals I love so much just because of the subtle pattern that just is done and just these muted colors that I wear often so I'm able to wear them with a lot of outfits in case really thin spaghetti straps aren't your thing, I wanted to show you this look with a different top option. So here I'm showing it to you with an off the shoulder longer sleeve top. I think the outfit looks equally as good with this top option. For a different vibe, I went ahead and put my hair in a bun and put on some bigger earrings. I think just those little changes brings the outfit a little bit more into a nighttime look. So this is definitely something I would wear out on an evening. And in case this top is still not your vibe, I have a third option. This top is from H&M. It's a long sleeve wrap sort of top. I think it's really nice, very elegant. I think it looks a little bit more mature and sometimes I do want to look a mature and look like a lady. So I think this top is a good option. And then here I wanted to elevate the outfit even more. So I decided to switch out the accessories. So first I switched out the flat sandals for a heeled sandal and then I wasn't feeling the accessories that I had with it. So I switched our little basket weave bag for a clutch and then I went with these black pair of glasses to add some more edge. Surprise, surprise, another all white look. This time I paired the pants with, with this white oversized shirt. And then for shoes, I went with these white heeled sandals. I would have ideally liked to pair this look with a white or off white bag. In my head, all I can think about is pairing this look with the Bottega Veneta bag. I really want that bag. So if I had something similar, that's definitely what I would have gone with instead of the black. <laughs> So this next outfit is a pretty similar vibe. Instead of the white shirt, I went with this bronzy silk top. I love this top. I think the color is so beautiful. And then for shoes, switched out the white heels for some tan heels to match the color of the top a little bit. And again, I kept that black bag, but ideally we need that Bottega Veneta bag, clearly. <laughs> As this look is more of an evening nighttime look, I thought I would show it to you with a blazer over just in case it's a little chilly out and you need an extra layer. This next outfit I absolutely love. You can definitely count on seeing me in it again this summer. I actually wore this look last year in Central Park in New York. We were walking around and we went on paddle boats. Um, so this outfit is a little bit sentimental as well. So for this one, I paired the pants with this adorable tie front top. And then again, I went with the Zara sandals. The colors worked really well here again. And then for our bag, I went with this brown kind of bucket basket bag. <laughs> I'm not sure how to describe it, but I think it's a great bag for the summer. Red eyes, strobe lights moving across the walls. You're looking like a movie star, but I know just what you are. So if I haven't already convinced you that these pants are super versatile, I'm now taking them to the beach. So for this look, I'm pairing them with a bikini top and then I'm switching out the bag for a more beach looking bag. I know some of you are going to be thinking, why would I wear these pants to the beach? But in my head when I was planning this outfit, it was something that I would wear maybe like 
I don't know, somewhere in Miami where I'm going to the beach, but I'm also gonna grab lunch at a nice restaurant on the strip right after, and I can't just go in with my bikini. So this is what I would wear and then just throw on over this white shirt and either just tie it up or button it properly to be able to have lunch somewhere nice. That is all the looks guys, comment below your favorite and here are two more ways to style videos to keep watching and I will see you guys in the next one.